Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Firewatch. Before we jump in, two quick reminders. First, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Secondly, you are an awesome person, so be awesome to others. Alright? Alright, let's jump in and find out what's going on with this little plume of smoke that I have to investigate. Okay. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. So it's the um, southwest. I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Yeah, Plus, where you said something about me not being aware of something. <laughs> I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but. <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you mm. are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. All right. So let's see here. I need to go way the heck down here to just can't fire. Some, wow, that's a long ways. So looks like I need the path to the left. This one. Unless there's no caches close by, are there? I already hit cache 241. I don't see anything about a cache listed over there. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> what on earth? Um, why is this area all burnt? Was this a fire that got out of control, or was this a, uh, what do they call them, controlled burns? Were they light part of the forest on fire specifically to try to control it? And allow new stuff to grow. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, sure. Not the insult I think I would use, but whatever works for you, I guess. Right. All right. So this drops down here. That is a very long drop, but there is a climb up right there, so it's not terrible. Let's get to running. Go for a nice jog in the canyon. Which I will say because I'm not actually having to run. If I was actually having to run, screw that noise. I'd be going my own pace. Alright. Oh wow, this is actually kind of a long rappel. <laughs> wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. 
Yeah, I don't plan to try, but it's cool that that exists. I'm kind of tempted to try it and see what happens. alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Sorry about that. Didn't want to cough in your ears. Yeah. Whew. What was it like when you guys found out? <clears throat> Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even. I'm just going to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Alright. So, if I continue along this way... I might take a detour north to that cache. Sorry, that cough actually, like... Oh, man. That was a bad cough. <clears throat> Ugh. All right. So if we go down Thunder Canyon. Cache 305 is right there. I might go north and hit that and then go down beside Jonesy Lake. Just because I have a feeling that that'll have a map that should give me some details about the area. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So, let's go over there. Across the Big Bad Thunder Canyon. Sounds like something you'd hear about at a monster truck rally. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Do -do -do. Come on, boy. Climb up. And of course, in reality, you don't want to be doing all this climb up just to come right back down anyways. It just burns extra energy for no reason. But we're not in a game position to have to really worry that much about it, so... Mm. Looks like I can just loop right around here. Potentially, and come up to where the cache is. Possibly. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or...? Did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Okay, open the thing up so I can... Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Wow. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. 
By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? Holy People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. That's insane stuff right there. The bright side. I was right. Map info. What's this note say? This is late August of 86. Ron. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish. Professionals is Italian. All right, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Well, somebody's been a fan of this Richard Sturgeon person. It's the second one of his books we've found. I guess if we get desperate enough, I can always... Well, just take the note. Instead of littering. Okay. So we're at the edge of the lake. I hear ducks. Or geese or something. I can still see the smoke. So we need to head down in this direction. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Well, on the bright side, they cleaned up their clothing, so there's that much. But yeah, they have left their campsite behind. Though not before they drank a whole bunch more beer. Because I know I cleaned the, all this crap up last time I was out here. And the sad part is, like, this isn't just a, something that's happening in this game. Like, people actually do this crap. You know, all the little... Oh, we're so avid about going into the outdoors and... Being one with nature, and you see them with, like, stuff that you know they had to have gotten from, like, an REI or from online, like Backpacker's Pantry and meals that you wouldn't find in, like, a Walmart, for example. You know, like, Mountain House stuff, okay, fine, you'll find that in your average Walmart. But when you start getting into, like, this, the fancier meals, you're like, okay, you went to REI or some kind of specialty place to get that. And yet they leave just as much trash, if not more, than the people that were, you know, the Walmart camper was. Like, it just, it, it boggles the mind. You act like you care so much more about it, but then when it's time to actually clean up after yourself, half of them can't be bothered to do that. It's incredibly annoying. Sorry, that's just a random little TED talk for you there. Uh, I need to go this way. Right? Yeah, so south and a little bit east of where I am. And there should be some kind of a drop down point over here. Yeah, there it is right there. Heck yeah. 
Are there any more beer cans? Just to make sure before I leave the area. You know, being a good steward of the land and all that stuff. Alright. Attach rope to hook. Let's do it, shall we? Do 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 do. Nope. Alright, we're down on the ground. Onward. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. Mm. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I cannot see the plume of smoke. Unfortunate. Eh, it looks like I'm going the right way, though. If I carry along this pathway, I should run into that cache. Yeah, there it is. More map info. Do, 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 do. Thank goodness the password is such a secure lock code. Okay. Missing person flyer? What? Missing person. Mitch Michaels, age 31, 6 foot 2, 165. Short brown hair, distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels, last seen around Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 1981. First reported missing July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Oof. Driving a 72 Ford F-250 blue and white Montana license. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. What's the deal with a picture of Teddy Roosevelt there? Well, actually, I guess that kind of makes sense. National Forestry Service and all. Alright. Continued straight down and then heading west, which will be on my right side. And then it kind of loops back around into a potential campsite. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's that uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Well, I mean, 
If by coming up to you mean I'm basically standing in it, then yes, I agree with you. Oh wow, that is just gorgeous. All the sun rays coming through the trees. Oh man. That's just... I mean, this game is like desktop simulator. Well, not, not simulator, more like desktop generator. You can just generate desktop backgrounds all day long from this game. Wow. Okay, so this is the river I'm supposed to be following, or stream, whatever you're going to call it. Oh. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Let's get a nice picture of that. Is there a way I can get that in frame without it? There we go. That's a really pretty shot right there, too. That's just it's gorgeous. Okay, so the path seems to go up this way under a rock arch looking thing. And yes, I may very well be trying to get thumbnails for the video as well. But like I said, it could also work as, you know, desktop backgrounds. The game's art style is very simple, but it's very effective at the same time. Wait. Oh, campfire. Got it. Good grief. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? It seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Can I pour something on it to make sure it goes out? Because this is like some half-assed stomping out, to say the least. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Wait. Um. It looks like something got to their campsite before I got here. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or. Sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Valid point, actually. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. No, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah.
let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're effing happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental effing axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Huh. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're just jumping straight to day three. Cool. Bit of a shocker. Hey, well, at least we're being smart about it. So as we're jumping into day three, that looks like a good spot to pause. I'm curious what exactly might have happened to their campsite. On one hand, it could have been the weirdo that we saw on the trail, just like randomly watching me walk up the trail. Could be that guy, or it could be that they were stupid enough to leave food out and a bear decided to go sniffing around and destroyed half of their campsite. The stealing underwear part makes me think it's probably not the bear, but it could go either way, I guess. So, I don't know, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Or at least as the game goes on. And if you want to make sure that you know about what's happening next episode, or as the game goes along, or any other series that I'm doing, then you need to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading a new video, and you can keep up. Anyways, while you're down there as well, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, okay? It helps keep the YouTube overlords happy. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.